Building with Allen Block, Site Prep and Excavation. Once you have checked out your materials and equipment, it's time to prep the site. Keep in mind the purpose the wall will serve when laying out the site. To start your layout, place a stake to represent the location of the front of the wall. Then using stakes, a string liner paint, mark out the entire length of the wall. A garden hose is an excellent tool when laying out curved walls. Once the layout is complete, excavate the area by removing all surface vegetation and organic soils and set aside for finishing your project. For reinforced walls, you will need to excavate the soil behind the wall to accommodate the design length of the reinforcement grid, as well as the soil in front of the wall location, and set it aside for later use. Refer to the approved plans for exact grid lengths to determine the depth of the excavated area. Start digging the base trench at the lowest elevation specified on the approved plans. The minimum width for a base trench is 24 inches. The depth of the trench is determined by allowing for 6 inches of base material plus 1 inch per foot of wall height. For this example, we are building a 4 foot wall that will require 6 inches in trench depth to allow for base material and an additional 4 inches to allow for the buried block, giving us a total trench depth of 10 inches. If organic or wet soils are still present in the base trench area or under the infill soil, they must be removed and replaced with granular material. Then compact and level the base trench, making a minimum of two passes with a mechanical plate compactor. A drain pipe is required for any reinforced wall or walls over four feet tall. Place the drain pipe at the lowest possible point at the back of the trench that can be vented to daylight every 50 feet. See the landscape walls guide for more details or alternative drain pipe placement. Now that the base trench is ready, place a minimum of 6 inches of wall rock in the base trench and rake smooth. Once the wall rock is in place, compact the base making a minimum of 2 passes with a mechanical plate compactor. Use a string line level and a measuring tape to check for level along the length of the base. Using a 4 foot level, check for any high spots screening the wall rock as necessary to adjust the base. For the next step, go to the base course section or visit us at allenblock.com.